Hey, this is Shiraz. And before we get started, I just want to let you know that when I clear something for someone, when I cause a shift, I tend to yawn and cough from the energetic shift that happens. I don't know why it happens. It's just how my body works. And if you don't know that, you're going to listen to this video and go, what the hell is wrong with this guy? You might still think that, but now there's more of an explanation. The other thing to keep in mind is that if you hear something that you can absolutely relate to, when I cleared for them, you can get it cleared for you too. Just say yes when they're saying yes, and it works. It's, I have people that watch these videos every morning to get stuff cleared. This can be your new morning habit too. Okay, that's enough for that. Let's get on with the video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get a great shift out of it. See you soon. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Um, as I said earlier, I'm looking at a puppy today. Actually, two puppies. And... As soon as I started thinking, yeah, maybe it's time to get another dog because I miss Shy so much. Um, I almost feel like replacing him is a big mistake because nobody can live up to his shoes. And I'm thinking money. I'm thinking about now I'm going to have to be responsible for somebody. And I, it came up about being responsible for people. So I'm going to be responsible for another life again mm -hmm. when I just finally got my freedom back. Okay. So if you're enjoying your freedom, why do you want to get rid of it? This is the first time in 26 years that I haven't had a pet. Okay. I haven't had somebody to love unconditionally. Okay. Do you, can you only give unconditional love to a pet? I'm saying no, but something inside me says yes. Okay. So are you willing to step out of the story that you can only give unconditional love to a pet? Yes. <coughs> Do people deserve unconditional love? Yes. Okay, that came up true. Can you only get unconditional love from a pet? No. Okay, that didn't come up true. So are you willing to step out of the story that you can only get unconditional love from a pet? Yes. Do you need a pet as your source of love? Yes. Okay. Are you willing to destroy that belief? Yes. Ow. Yeah, it's not moving. Okay, remember, the first and foremost source of love for you should be you. And for yeah. most people, it's not. For most people, they're looking for outside sources to create love. I think that's what I'm doing. Okay. But when you can start to get into a deep appreciation of love for yourself, then that story goes out and it gets reflected in more and more people around you. If you're depending on other people to give it to you first, it's making you feel like you're you're not enough. You, you're gonna have to do things to be loved. You don't deserve love. All sorts of stories can come up. So, why do you feel you can't love yourself unconditionally? That I feel I can. Um, and I know I can. 
just okay. sometimes deep down inside me, I just feel anxious and, you know, little, can I do this? I think it's just normal, everyday thoughts that go through our head. Oh, that go through your head. It goes through my head. It goes through my head, yes. It goes through my head. Because <laughs> those, those don't go through my head. <laughs> okay, so they used to. They absolutely used to. Okay. And, and this is the thing that it, it is everyday thoughts that people have, but that's because of how people have been raised. Yeah. And when you're, when you're saying that, I know I, I have unconditional love and I, I can unconditionally love myself. When you're saying it's just that, that's, that's the but that's coming into your, your statement that invalidates everything you say before. True. Okay. So can you only love yourself when you are doing well? Yes. Okay. Are you willing to step out of the story that you cannot love yourself unless you're doing well? Yes. It's a matter of having that same love for you as you do for a baby or you do for a puppy, right? If you've got a puppy and the puppy shits on the rug, you're just like, oh, okay, still got to toilet train the puppy, but I still love the puppy. Just shit on the rug. <laughs> right? But with ourselves, it's just like, okay, I love myself. Oh, but I just made a mess of that assignment or I fucked up at work or I said the wrong thing to someone. Now I got to stop loving myself and I got to start judging myself. And I think that's the story I've been in. Yeah. Judging myself when I screw up. Yep. But again, we talk about unconditional love. So unconditional love means you love yourself even when you screw up, even if you constantly screw up. So are you willing to step out of the story? That you can't, let's do it again. Are you willing to step out of the story that you can't love yourself unconditionally if you're screwing up? Yes. (laughs) Are you willing to step out of the story that you have to atone? for what you did or thought or fix things before you can love yourself again. Yep. Oof. Okay, you started to shift and you pull back again. Hmm. So a lot of people live this way. It's this place of balance. It's like I fucked up here and I fucked up here and I fucked up here. So now I've got to make up for that. I've got to balance the scales. And once I balance the scales, then I'm a good person. Then I can start loving myself and I can move forward from there. And something just came up on that. Mm -hmm. Um, My mom knows she fucked up when my sister and I were little. And in return for her fuck up, she buys my sister and I stuff because she can afford to now. Yep. Instead of saying, yeah, I fucked up. It's she plays the that oh it's you know god's forgiven me that's it it's god's forgiven my sins okay. it's fine god's forgiven your sins but that doesn't make it right with the other person yep and yes i have forgiven her okay that's not completely true so should she be able to get away with believing that God's forgiven her so she doesn't have to apologize to anyone else. And that comes up, no. Yeah. So when you're in resistance to the way she's living her life, then you're creating all sorts of resistance to your life. I think that's where it is with my mom. And I think there's, I'm in resistance with a lot of things she says. I've told her, I think whenever she gives me advice, it, fucks up my life so yeah i think it's time to let go of the resistance so my mom and i are you willing to step out of the story that you have to make sure you're not like your mother 
Yes. <coughs> Are you willing to step out of the story that you have to make sure you resist anything she tries to do or say? Yes. Because remember, if you're in resistance all the time, then she can give you good advice and you're just not going to take it. You're going to go, oh, that's not going to work. Or that's just you trying to give me that bad advice that I know is not going to work in you. You can lose it. Or, oof, okay, that's riling some stuff up. I know what's coming up. Yeah. Um, when my parents separate or divorced, yep. my dad was pissed and anything my mom did was resistance and he i bought his story to be resistant to my mom okay so are you willing to step out of his story yes And up comes the ping pong, being in resistance of my mom to my dad. Because they they were at war with each other. Okay, but that's their war. Yeah, I got stuck in the middle. Okay, but you don't have to continue to be in the middle. I don't want to be. Yeah, that doesn't actually come up true. Do you need to be the mediator in their war? I feel responsible to be the mediator in their war. Okay. Why do you have to be the one? Why is that your responsibility? It's their 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 relationship. Yeah, it's their relationship. Yeah. So are you willing to step out of the story that you have to be responsible to mediate their war? Yeah. Okay, how does that feel? Uh, really weird it's like I've had to take on their responsibility and maybe that's why I hate responsibility or maybe that's why I'm very responsible and maybe that's why I'm having a hell of a time with this decision on the puppy is it's the responsibility shit coming up again not wanting to be responsible for somebody other than me yep See, but part of you is, is getting the puppy because you're used to being responsible. So you're trying to add responsibility because it feels comfortable, even though it causes anxiety. Yeah. So if you get the puppy, number one, don't make it, get, get the puppy to replace the other dog. You want to get the puppy just because you want a puppy. And if, you, if you're trying to do it as a replacement, don't do it. If you're doing it just because you desire a new puppy, then do it. So are you willing to step out of the story that you need to find ways to, to be and feel responsible? Yes. (laughs) (sighs) Okay. How's that feel? Lighter, but still frightening. Okay. And I think I cleared a lot of shit that uh, was attached to this puppy thing. And I needed to go. Cool. Thanks. You're welcome. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like. And if you had a shift of your own, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Also, check out the description for energetic magic events that you can attend every single month. Be well, be aware, and be magical.